I guess we are in the age of everyone getting sued. Obviously, we had Mr. Beast and his lawsuit, everything going on there. And now we have a brand new one with Elon Musk and Cards Against Humanity. Who would have thought that these two would be pairing up and Cards Against Humanity is suing Elon Musk? So apparently this is what's going on. They're suing him for $15 million, him and SpaceX. Uh, they're being accused of trespassing on and damaging company-owned property in Texas. And then they have a quote here saying, we bought a plot of land on the U.S.-Mexico border to stop a racist billionaire, Donald Trump's dumb wall. But this year, an even richer, more racist billionaire, Elon Musk, that land with gravel, tractors, and space garbage. So we're suing. So this is them suing, uh, I don't know what the $15 million is, you know, where that money comes from, what that number comes from, but they are going after SpaceX specifically, but Elon Musk obviously founded and CEO of SpaceX. So this is the uh, thing right here, the lawsuit right here. You can see Space Exploration Technologies Corp, that's SpaceX. So they have a 21-page document for this lawsuit for $15 million against Elon Musk and SpaceX. And as for the problems that we come up, when I first saw this and thought, uh, why, you know, what are they suing? Like, I thought like, what, what could this possibly be, right? That they, what happened to this land? This seems kind of petty and dumb. What really happened? But when you look at it and get to see what happened, it kind of makes sense. I would be upset if I owned land and somebody did that to, and just like started dumping stuff on it. So can completely agree with them. This is what the what it looks like now. What this land looks like now, apparently, where you can see obviously all the machinery, piles of dirt and gravel, and this uh, they call, I think this is what they're referring to as space junk, like probably things to build rockets and things. So uh, not happy, and honestly, can't really blame them. I would not be happy either if someone randomly dumped stuff on my land. They have more quotes here saying SpaceX never asked permission to use the property, much less for the egregious appropriation of the property uh, for its own profit-making purposes. And this, they don't have the quote in here, but apparently when Elon Musk, not Elon Musk, SpaceX, and the guys dumped all this stuff and started using this land that they didn't own for some reason, which is crazy, like, what are you doing, right? But apparently when Cards and Humanity came to them and said, uh, hey, you can't do this, we own this, Apparently, the company, I don't know if it's Elon Musk directly, they say Elon Musk, I would assume probably someone in the company, SpaceX, like an executive there, offered them a lowball offer to buy the land from them. So not only do you have this billion dollar company coming in and just throwing stuff all over your land, when you say, hey, uh, you know, you can't do that, they'll say, oh, you know, we'll buy it for 50% of what it's worth. It's like, well, <laughs> what? What? That's not how this works, right? That's that's insane. That's kind of a slap in the face, really. So I could see why they're upset. Fully have the right to be upset. This whole situation is insane. Get all the stuff dumped on your land, and then when you confront them, get said, we'll give you a couple pennies to go away. Honestly, SpaceX could afford to probably pay market value if they wanted to make a legit offer, right? But they don't want to do that. But in this lawsuit, we can actually see the um, difference between what happened. So this is the picture of what it looks like now, but they do have a picture in here that is what it looked like before. So this is the land up, like that they bought. This is what it looked like. You know, there's nothing on here. Just fields, right? Just fields and grass and trees. So this is what people compare this picture right here. They compare this to uh, how, what it looks like now. So obviously not the same, right? They have dumped random stuff, uh, building stuff. They got machinery. They got random tools and random materials. So it's honestly insane, right? To to say the least, like uh, to put this entire thing going on here, like all these, they, they have buildings going up. If they don't own any of like the land over here, like where this building is over here, then that's that's like unbelievably ludicrous. Like, what are we doing? How are you building buildings, even if they're temporary buildings? How are you putting stuff up and parking machinery and things on land you know you don't own? That's the craziest part to me. Like, you know 
that you don't own this land yet for some reason you you're putting things up you're building things on it and storing supplies and storing machinery like that is the craziest part to me like how how you can do that and not even have a second thought of like man maybe we shouldn't be putting up buildings on land that we don't own maybe you can understand if it was like they parked one backhoe over there because it was full or easier to do that and maybe it was temporary still kind of inconvenient still dumb still have the right to be mad but at least you could try and justify that this that's going on with this not justifiable there's nothing here that you could look at and say well you know elon musk has a reason to do that spacex has a reason to do that they really don't they seemingly are taking advantage of just trying to be a big company and be a billionaire and just kind of saying we'll do whatever we want and when the consequences come we'll just we'll buy the land for you know pennies what it's worth We'll just throw money at the problem and that'll solve it, surely. Guys, Bex from the future here. Uh, one thing that I forgot that to uh, to mention in this video that is pretty funny is we know this lawsuit is for $15 million, but there's something else that Cards Against Humanity is all right with taking as compensation for the uh, the lawsuit here. And that would be this Twitter. They say that uh, the company asked for $15 million in damages uh, but it's according to its complaint against SpaceX, uh, it is said that it will accept Twitter as compensation. So there is a way that maybe uh, we have a new owner of Twitter coming in. A Cards Against Humanity might swoop in and own Twitter. Obviously, that's uh, more than likely not going to happen. But they did say that that is something they're willing to take. They will forgive this as <laughs> and have compensation take over control of twitter don't know if that'd be the smartest thing for them it's a burning company drowning with debt and if they took it over it would just be you know a trouble headache for them obviously this is a joke but it's just funny there is something else elon could get out he could uh, get out from owning twitter and give it to cards against humanity but yeah apparently we're in the time of lawsuits so mr beast lawsuit now we've got the elon musk lawsuit Who's next to get sued? I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I'm sure there'll be something happening. Maybe we'll get a second Mr. Beast lawsuit. Uh, but this uh, seems to be lawsuit season. That's just a quick uh, talking of what's what's going on. I thought this was interesting to see Cards Against Humanity and Elon Musk going at it. Would have never thought that those two would be butting heads, but they have a complete right to be upset. Uh, I, I would dig into this kind of look at where they get the 15 million dollar price tag from what is that number from but uh, everything else is kind of i'm on their side elon musk you can't just be dumping random stuff in random places that's gonna do it for this video as always do me to smash button and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video